So what's this silly thing? Okay, it says it's a delay on break. And it's got a little dial here that you can adjust for minutes. And it's got two terminals, one here and one here. This thing can have input anywhere from 24 volts to uh, 240, whatever. It says 280, I think you can put on there. And you're supposed to cut this little wire if you're using 120 or 280. But what is the thing? This is a non-recycle timer. What are you using for? In the HVAC industry, we use compressors. Compressors, when they shut off, have a high pressure on the high side and a low pressure on the low side. If they are not hard start compressors, and we try to start them immediately after we've shut them off, they oftentimes won't start. And it's hard on the compressor because it tries to start, it overheats, and kicks off its internal overload. So in order to stop that, and sometimes it blows fuses too, so we can put these timers in here. A lot of units already have it. Thermostats, you have a non-recycle option on most of the electronic thermostats. Some units have uh, a time delay. The whole idea here is to give the compressor time to equalize its pressures. And then it can start easier. So let's say you came out on a job. They were blowing fuses. Nobody could figure out why. You might put one of these non-recycled timers on there and see if that kept them from blowing fuses. Sometimes your customer thinks that thermostat is something that he really, really should play with all the time. So they get out there and they start fooling with it. They turn it up, they turn it down, they turn it to heat, they turn it to cool, and they just fill around with it. And that will sometimes do it. I mean, you turn it on, it's running, you shut it off, and then turn it right back on again, then you got a problem. So they came up with this little doohickey here. Now I'm going to show you how this thing works. It's a real simple hookup. There's only two terminals. Now this ain't brand new, you can tell. It's been bouncing around the shop for probably 20 years. I'm going to hook this thing up as it would be hooked up in a system, and you can see how it works. Now I'm going to show you the setup we have here. I've just taken a 24 volt transformer. I've hooked one common side to a contactor. I've taken the other side and run it through this control to the contactor. So this is feeding the coil of the contactor, 24 volts. This dial here is going to tell me what uh, time delay there is. I've set it for about a minute or so. Now your thermostat would be in this line here. Now the way you'd actually wire this, because I've eliminated the thermostat, which would be right in here. If you were wiring it into an outdoor unit, I would simply put, say, the, uh, the yellow wire, and it could be either side. It could be yellow, it could be the common, whatever you have. But it has to be in that line somewhere probably best to put it in the Y line and you just cut your wires and put this thing in in between and it will do the timing for you now let's see if we can watch this thing operate okay you notice that the contactor came on that's normal now I'm going to disconnect power and you can see the meter goes to zero now I'm going to put it again. It didn't start this time. It's in its time delay. And I'm not going to make you wait the whole time for it. But it's going to, in about a minute, it's going to turn on that contactor. You heard the contactor close, so it did its time delay. And of course you can set whatever time you want with the little red dial. That's all there is to that thing. It's very simple. And I've used it for a number of uh, jobs where 
We didn't really know what was going on. Possibly we had a customer problem, but we just didn't know. And so I'd put that on, and sometimes it solved the blow and fuse problems. Uh, sometimes it didn't. Anyway, that's a nice little, little doohickey you can put in to the low voltage circuit if you have a problem with the compressor cycling too often. Hope this is understandable.